Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play a Vagrant Story. I... Going to admit to something. Oops. I was thinking about doing this one no commentary, to tell you the truth. And, uh, decided against it. We're gonna take the opposite door from the where we... From the where? From where we went last time. And that seems to have also been a mistake. There's a locked door over there that I can't do anything with. Wall right there. I see some frictionless blocks, some crates, some magnet blocks. Oh boy. <coughs> Pardon me. Well, this way it shall be then. And I have to remember how to do this one. If I remember right, it's not... It's not as hard as it seems, if I remember right. Let me get rid of this one. Give that a push. Give that a push. This is wrong already. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I think I needed. Well, that wouldn't work, would it? I'm gonna tell you, I'll probably just end up looking this one up. Cause it's it's simple to do, but it. I seem to remember it being difficult to to figure out how to start it, but once it started, then it's just like the same mov movement over and over a couple times. <coughs> Pardon me. So I need to get one right there. And that's going to be that one. But I need to get... I need to basically get another block kind of in its place. So I can break that one. Yeah, I need to get a block here. It's the long and short of it. That I can push the rest of the way. I can just push this one down. <coughs> Pardon me. But that's not going to work because then I can't push it again from there. And this one does have to come out. And anything that I push here, I can't push that way. So like if I do something like this, Rid of that one again. <coughs> Pardon me. Push this that way. Bust up that one. And if I push this one this way. Now my mind tells me that I need to push this one over. Like, memory-wise, but I know that's wrong. It's gotta be wrong, right? Now if I push it forward, then the only place I can push it is this way, which doesn't help me. Or this way, which doesn't help me. Right. <coughs> Pardon me. So if I keep pushing this one all the way down... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I remember. Nope, I don't remember. Because as soon as I did that, I'm like, wait, I can't push that other block. It's got something to do with that. I'm fairly certain. I think... I 
think what I end up needing to do is I push one of them all the way up to here, and then another one from here on top, but wait. Can't remember for sure. It's been a long time. So, pardon me. While I whip this out. Okay. This is Those Who Drink the Dark, correct? Yes, it is. In the temple of Kiltia. Kiltia? I don't remember. <clears throat> All right. Push the topmost of the stack of two west. So that one goes that way. Destroy the innermost of the wedged crates. That's that one. Ah. Yep. This comes all the way down because we can push it this way. <coughs> and we want it there. It gives us a space on each side. Now we're going to smash this one. This one that way. With me so far? So, like I said, the, the execution is simple, but getting it set up is complicated. We push one of these crates onto here and off. Then we can push this one this way. Continue to push the first crate up and back and forth that way. <clears throat> so. <laughs> Even the walkthrough says the last sentence. There, simple. You'll be wanting diagrams, I suppose. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Push. You then push one of the other crates onto this slider. That's the one that we're calling on the floor there. Like that. And then again onto the floor. Uh, da -da 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 -da. You can move the slider sideways to make a space behind the one that's just hit the floor. This enables us to push this one this way. Let's turn so I can see what I'm doing. Move those two remaining southern crates north onto the floor and towards the high wall one at a time. This moving means moving the nearest one north and then uh, east and then north, pausing to move the slider out of the way. Restore the slider, move the second one up. Still got the highest crate in place, but now you've made a two tile ledge at the floor. So, we do this. I'm remembering, right? I don't want to screw it up. I know I'm looking at it, but I'm trying not to. We want to be able to push. <coughs> Excuse me. Two, three, four. 
five, six, seven, eight. We want this one up, up, way up there. I remember this right? For the slider, for the second crate, north by nine tiles. You still got that highest crate in place, but now you've made a two tile edge at floor level. When you've pushed the high crate north by one tile towards the high wall, it is dropped down. So, this one comes where I'm standing. Bloop. And then we can fall. Push it that way. Oh, I did screw it up. <coughs> Did I screw it up? I think I screwed it up. Because I can't, if I push it here, then I can't push it. That's kind of what I need to do. Dang. That's what I'm saying. I need the gap right there. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. You want to be able to push it out east onto the crate, the north by sliding it onto the other crate, then back to the west. So I need a third. Basically, I need one to push it down onto. Or no, I need to push it this way. This way. I'm sorry. I'm overcomplicating it in my own mind. I'm good at that. You notice that? It's a talent. This one goes over. Bust that one up. down. Loop. Two that way. Pass that one up. This one comes this way. You go back. <coughs> Beg your pardon? This one goes there. This one back out. Goes back. Over. This one just goes north all the way to the wall. And we can make the jump. Good job, us. Get your weapons ready. It is kind of a boss time. Mini boss. <coughs> Another one of them of our minotaurs, ain't it? I degenerate you, sir. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, I'll strength me then. This is the Minotaur Lord. So 
what I'm talking about. Trying to do something else, and the game says, nope, you must have tried to block that attack, didn't you? <coughs> Pardon me. I am sorry. I'll take all that. Great job. There's a chest. Let's go open that chest. Yeah, whatever. Could be alright. Sure, sure. Finally, we can open doors locked with the silver key. Now, real quick. I'm peeking ahead. We do have a save point coming up relatively soon. So we're not going to go and do any silver key stuff just yet. There is a silver key door over there. Let's see what's in here. Somewhere we don't want to mess with just at the moment. We do want to go the other way. Yes. Just in case those spooky spirit guys are back out there. Sure are, bunch of jerks. It didn't pay off. Like that, huh? You are a jerk, sir. We were getting close. Let's do a quick heal. Scrap. We got another block puzzle coming up. <clears throat> Excuse me. <sighs> so what we need to do here 
we need to get these blocks to the point where we can jump up there. Now that's tricky, because these rollers we have a fixed number of moves on. So, yeah, if I recall, we just end up kind of having to jump. Like, we want to get this frictionless block. If we can get it here, perfect. <clears throat> Pardon me. So what I need to do is get one of these rollers... that but that's not enough because it's going to disintegrate as soon as it rolls much so how do we do this Let's start with this one Push it north two tiles, which is, I believe, this way. That way? I think I'm reading this right. I think I might have my map wrong. Yeah, I do. I'm not oriented correctly. <coughs> Excuse me. Should have checked first, but I thought I had it. North is that way. So this goes north two. West one, where I started. Good job, me. Now the other one... North one, east one, and south one. Now I can do. Nope. Fall down. That way. And that way. Which means I can do that. And that. That's the easy one. Now these we can't move. These are here just to let us get out and reset the puzzle if we have to. Again, what we need to do is really just get high enough. Two, two tiles here to jump this. So... What we need to do is use this rolling cube as like a stopper to get these two cubes to line up with this stack. And I think we want them on this side, but let's double check. <coughs> the door is to the north. We'll save right here just in case it crashes and save us from going back and forth and doing the other puzzle. Push the rolling cube north one tile. Bloop. West three. I was incorrect. Now we push this one this way. I've got this figured out. We're going to do this one twice. So we can push this this way. This one's not as straightforward because it's diagonal, you see. Give that top one a push. Give that a push again. Do not push it another time. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to ignore these guys. Best I can.
I like that cutscene. Oops. Wrong button. Welcome. This is Kali. Kali, believe it or not, is human. And Kali's tough. This is going to be the last thing we do in this video. Until uh, we get to the... Um, save point. First thing we're going to do... Lead Bones works really well on Kali. I don't even care about that because I'm just going to put Heracles right back on. Now, that looks pretty good, right? Good damage, good chance to hit. Well, good luck trying to chain on Kali. Doesn't work very well most of the time. But it looks like we might have it here. Lead bones doing its job. Ooh, nice. Hey, that went really, really well. <clears throat> Kali has about 500 hit points, so, uh, Not difficult, but hard to hit. Lead bones makes all the difference. What do we get? What do we get? It's just missed it by one. Uh. Okay. Let's drop a couple of those. Let our wrist drop and move on. This will look familiar. That's supposed to be a bell. Thanks, emulation. All right, quick, magic circle. Next time, we are not going to be going in that door. That door lies end of the game. We have got a silver key, and we've seen many silver key doors, and there's another door over there. So, before we go and finish the game, which we are very, very close, by the way, um, we're going to go and open, what, two, three silver key doors? Uh, I think from there we actually get a sigil, which will let us go and open something else. We might have done it already, I'm thinking. Uh, but yeah, then we've just got the uh, end of the game after that. So, well, nearing, what, March probably by the time this goes up, uh, our uh, initial playthrough of the Low Bias Monthly for January will be done. Uh, don't forget, this game has a new game plus, and we're going to 100% everything, so that's going to happen. See you next time.